All right, this is Jody Arias. She is a woman who has been convicted of murder, and she is currently in prison. This scene right here is uh, from one of her interrogations before she was charged with murder. Maybe because a giggle and a head toss had worked on so many guys so many times before. And Christian, I just live my life by the Ten Commandments, and that's my, those are my rules. Da, 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 da. You know, the, I shall not this or that, but it doesn't say thou shalt not mortgage. So I just see. Okay, she says it does not say thou shalt not fornicate. Now what's interesting is that she says thou shalt not this, thou shalt not that. She has no idea what the Bible says. But let's pay attention to this, thou shalt not fornicate. Alright, so that's kind of interesting. You can't kill, steal, commit adultery, but you can fornicate. So let's take a look at this word fornicate. I hope that covers all the examples there. Um, so we get five mentions in the Old Testament, 35 mentions in the New Testament. Okay. Uh, inhabitants of Jerusalem to commit fornication and shall commit fornication and force out thy fornications. Thou hast also committed fornications. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication. All right, so that covers the Old Testament. So now when we're looking at this word, whether it's Old Testament or New Testament, let's see if there's any examples where it's okay to commit fornication. All right? Rather than looking to see if it's wrong, let's see if there's anything that might indicate that it's okay to commit fornication. All right, the first example in the New Testament, Matthew 5, But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced commits adultery. So, there is a correlation between the word fornication and adultery. Okay, so I don't think there's any way to separate the difference here between fornication and adultery. All right, for out of the heart proceeds fornication. And again, who shall put away his wife except it be for fornication? And uh, it's important to know that this uh, clause put in by Moses, uh, this wasn't the way it was meant to be or supposed to be. It wasn't always like this, but uh, because of the softness of Moses' heart, he allowed for there to be an exemption or whatever for divorce. Okay. And then, uh, of course, Mark 17, for, uh, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed fornication. And then the Jews talking to Jesus, saying, we are not born of fornication. All right, and we got uh, abstain from idols and fornication, uh, meats and fornication, uh, so, so on and so forth. Okay, so being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness. Sounds pretty bad to me. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. That's not good. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. Okay, so Jody claims nowhere in the Bible does it say thou shalt not fornicate. Keep that in mind. 
yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or with extortioners. Right. But now I have written unto you, not to keep company, if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, with such an one know not to eat. Okay. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators. First one mentioned in that list. Among the unrighteous, the very first one. Fornicators. All right. Meats for the belly and belly for the meats, but God shall destroy them. Or, I'm sorry. But God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. So what is she confused about here? Or is it, you know, thou shalt not this, and thou shalt not that? Even though thou shalt not what? This? Okay. All right, and what's this say here? Flee fornication. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body nevertheless to avoid fornication let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband neither let us commit commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand okay all right and have them here in second corinthians and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Okay, so I think you got a pretty good, uh, oh, no, we're going to miss out on ten of these, aren't we? Oh, we better hit them. We better get them on. Apologize for that right there. All right, where was we? Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. Oops. Oops, oops. Okay, and... Okay. Where was I at? Right there. Oh, okay. There we go. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person giving themselves over to fornication. And again, this is a, don't eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Servants uh, to teach. Okay, so this is again still against fornication, and I gave her space to repent of her fornication, nor of their fornication, nor of the thefts. Drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, filthiness of her fornication, uh, the wrath of her fornication, who have committed fornication with her and which did corrupt the earth with her fornication so it's very clear every example given is a negative when it comes to fornication so to say the Bible does not say thou shalt not commit fornication is an abs abject ignorance of what the Bible says Bible does not say thou shalt not this and thou shalt not that read the Bible and see exactly what it does say sound good